<laughs> Welcome back, 838. Your time. It was first held back in 1810, honoring the wedding of the Crown Prince of Bavaria. Since then, Oktoberfest has been celebrated around the world. The annual festival features German food, beer, and traditional dress, and you can find all three of them at one of Atlanta's top German restaurants. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at Der Beer Garden this morning. And Paul, even though it's not a quite October, it's time for Oktoberfest. Mm. Yes. It is. All right. Fun fact, guys. This is Professor Paul's history oh, lesson boy. for you right now. Okay. So, Oktoberfest started 200 years ago because the Crown Prince of Bavaria got married and they celebrated it in October. However, it gets very cold in October in Germany. So, they moved it up and now Oktoberfest is in late September. And that's why it has already begun here in downtown Atlanta at my new favorite place. This is Der Beer Garden. It is a beautiful rooftop patio here. Feels great out. Side, although, Buck, unfortunately for you, just a little too chilly. I mean, I could do this if you want, Buck. Would you like me to go ahead and just roll up the pants to simulate Wait, later? Hosen, we my can eyes, go there my if eyes. You want. We can Very go. Nice. Poor chef has to look at food, though. I don't want to make him sick for the rest of the day, sir. <laughs> this is executive chef Matt. Great to see you. Good to see you as well. All right, so let's talk about this for a minute here as I get this thing down on my leg and don't embarrass myself anymore. Um, this is real, authentic German food that you serve here at Der Beer Garden. You're not going to come down here and get like chicken tenders, right? No, that's right. This is uh, this is authentic German food. Um, it's all house made. Yeah, I love that. And also, you have a staggering collection of German beer. Or two. We do. Yeah. All yeah. right. So this is the place to be for Oktoberfest. A lot of great events are going on for the rest of the month. Let's talk about the food now, though. They told me that you were going to bring out a pretzel, and I thought, okay, like a pretzel I'd get at the ball field. I didn't expect a pretzel bigger than my head. So explain to me what we've got here, sir. It's it's a nice, light, fluffy pretzel. Uh, <laughs> comes out nice and shiny with a good bit of salt. Uh -huh. uh, we serve it with uh, three different must mustards. Yeah. We've got a sweet Bavarian, uh, a whole grain, and an extra strong Dijon. Nice. Looks good to me. Okay, next up, what what is this here? This looks a little different. This is one of my favorites. This is Lieber case. Okay. Uh, it's a pan seared veal pate huh. with a sunny side up egg, some caramelized onions, and we serve it with a little German potato salad. Okay, so you have to help me out for a minute. A veal pate, can, can you compare that taste to anything? What would this taste like? Uh, it's, it's almost like a high end bologna. Wow. Okay. I love that. Very good. Okay, next up, I'm guessing we're on to the schnitzels, right? We are. Yep. Uh, very important uh, part of the menu. Yeah. Uh, this is Wiener schnitzel, mm -hmm. uh, thinly pounded veal. Okay. Uh, nice and crispy. Uh, we just serve it with uh, some lemon and yeah. uh, our, our classic potato salad. And, and what I like about this, I've had Wiener schnitzel before that's really heavy. This does not look that heavy to me. It's not. Um, and you need to save room to uh, be able to drink a few liters. <laughs> Absolutely. Which, which I love that this just magically appeared at some point while we've been on live television. This is why I like Der Beer Garden. Okay, next up, another schnitzel, right? Another schnitzel. This yeah. is Jaeger schnitzel. Okay. Uh, it's uh, thinly pounded pork. Mm -hmm. uh, we top it with a hunter sauce that's made with veal demi, uh, oh. mushrooms, and some red wine, and then served with our spetzel, which is a house-made egg noodle that we uh, saute with some caramelized onions and uh, Emmentaler cheese. Okay, everything you said sounds good, and I've heard this is one of the more popular dishes, so I'm going to try that in a minute. Last but not least, though, I love this just giant plate of meat. What is that? That is a uh, Schweinhocks. It's a limited availability item. It's uh -huh. a uh, Heritage Farms pork shank. Mm -hmm. We rotisserie cook it for about six hours until it's nice and crispy. Serve it with some sauerkraut and a little bit of jus. Nice. And apparently, I need to go to Germany for Oktoberfest because you said they just walk around with these and sell it by the pound or something. That's right? right. Yep, and you just pick it right up off the off the platter. Nice. Okay, next year, Fox Five, send us all to Germany, and we'll do a live Oktoberfest in Germany. For now, though, this is good enough. So I'm gonna try one of these. Like I said, I, I think I'm leaning toward the Jaeger Schnitzel. What do you recommend? Is that good? It's it's, it's a good one. That's yep. a good one. All right, sounds good. So let's do my first try ever of Jaeger Schnitzel, which is a pork. Schnitzel. It has nothing to do with Jägermeister, so don't worry. I'm not intaking any more uh, alcohol than I may have already intaken with the beer this morning. And wow, that is good. good. What? Tell me what the sauce is on that again. Red wine, veal demi, and mushrooms. Wow, that is so good. All right, very nice. So all of these dishes available now for the Oktoberfest celebration going on at Der Beer Garden coming up in the next hour. We've got the beer, of course, one of the most important parts. Plus, we're talking about some special events, including a very special event coming up on October 8th with a 5K run that ends with beer, which is basically the only Ooh. reason I would run a 5K is if I knew that there was beer waiting for me at the very end. And oh, thanks, Paul? Blaze. Speaking of, Paul? cheers oh. to all of you. Cheers to Oktoberfest. Paul, can you hear me? 
I know you're not bringing me back any yes. food, but Katie yeah. said she would like the Wiener schnitzel uh -huh. and the pretzel, but make sure you bring all three <laughs> mustards back. Yeah. Did she? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, just I will do that Katie just wants. for uh, Katie Beasley, because I'm sure she she would probably just eat all of this, no, right, Buck? So I should just bring back everything very just for her. Okay, I got it. Got it. You got it. No right, problem. I won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, thank you. Coming up tomorrow morning, it's an exciting project, helping people grow food for their communities. Paul will be live with members of the Atlanta Community Food Bank Community Gardens Project with details on how you can start a garden to help feed people.